Hi, my name is Carmen Brody. I'm the VP of Clinical Operations at Removery. So wavelengths are basically for us, our tools, right? Lasers in general have several different wavelengths. Uh, the ones that we choose to use are the 532 for your warm tones, your orange, your, um, your oranges and your reds are really what the 532 are for. And then we have 700s. We have a 730, 785, 730. And that's more attracted to your blues, greens, purples. 1064 is probably the most used wavelength uh, in tattoo removal, no matter what machine you have. Most of them start with a 1064. That addresses your blacks, your grays. Um, most colors have black and gray in it, so you use it all the time. It's safe for all skin types. So between all of those wavelengths that we use, we can generally get most colors on most skin types. <laughs> generally a red ink. We're gonna treat with a 1064 at first, right? Because red generally has a dark component too. So we're gonna grab that out and then we'll address the organic red with the 532. If let's say well, I wanted to treat a red with a 730, which is attracted to blues, greens, purples, I'm not gonna get so much out of it. So um, ink, the, the composition of ink is difficult. There's no FDA approval on, on ink. So it can be a mixture of absolutely anything. The ones that we have difficulty removing is those really synthetic inks. Like some of them even have plastic components in them or some of the inks have iron oxide, um, which make them more difficult to remove. There's just the combination of components. It, it can be the sky's the limit. The least difficult color to remove is black. Um, the most difficult color to remove are generally blues and greens. They're difficult. Um, whites we don't even address because a laser, there's no science out there, there's no wavelength out there that can see the white. So generally what happens is a white will just oxidize and turn a really funky color that we have just grave difficulty removing. So we choose not to remove whites. So black is the easiest to remove because you can get the most depth of penetration with the laser. So there's just a very, there's a very clear line to the black. The laser sees it very easily. Some of the wavelengths are not exactly designed to remove a pigment. Like the 730 really was designed for hyperpigmentation, but then somebody discovered that it also worked really well on the blues and the greens. But a 1064 is made to see those black particles. My name is Carmen Brody. I'm the VP of Clinical Operations at Removery.